Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Valentine. Nice to cross paths with you again. Or if this is your first time, nice to make your acquaintance. Today I'm going to be watching the 2016 film Deadpool starring Ryan Reynolds. I saw the 2021 picture Free Guy and I stumbled across a review about that movie and it reminded me that I had not seen the aforementioned film. So this represents me doing that. Thank you for being here. To support the channel, like this video, leave me some comments down below to help with the Alco rhythm. And also, you can moonwalk over there to the Patreon, Mr. Valentine Reacts. There you can get all of these videos I upload here to YouTube early. And I'm also offering, for the first time, uncut, unedited videos. The whole shebang, the whole enchilada. So if that tickles your fancy and you want to support the channel thusly, be my guest. Come on in, the water's fine. I appreciate all my patrons over there. You guys are the best. I doff my proverbial cap to you. And without further ado... Let's get into 2016 Deadpool, shall we? So this movie is thoroughly self-aware. Ah, a little fourth wall breaking. Excuse me. Uh, dope in the pool. Dead. Bond, James. She would have made me a very agreeable wife, but uh, Gita's heart has been stolen by my cousin Bandhu. Oh, family betrayal cuts the deepest. Love is a beautiful thing. When you find it, the whole world tastes like daffodil daydream. Mm -hmm. You got that right there, Paul. Mr. Paul. Don't make the same mistakes I did, got it? The whole world tastes like Mama June after hot yoga. Sir, oh. what does Miss Mama oh. do taste like? Like two hobos <laughs> fucking in a shoe filled okay, with piss. No. I can go all day, do <laughs> These are distasteful mental images. Oh, <laughs> no. This shit. Yo! All right. His face has seen better days. I'm back? No, no time. I got this. 9, 10, 11, 12 bullets or bust. Right here! <laughs> Twelve bullets. All right, Mr. Depp, we're gonna have to be mad selective here. Maximum effort. Ah. Oh. That's, he's not gonna feel great in the morning if he makes it past this sequence. Oh, the, the earlier scene cigarette lighter, a little narrative structure from the opening sequence. All right. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I've never said this, but don't swallow. <laughs> oh, what do you mean by that, huh? Is that a little innuendo? Do I detect a little double meaning? Now that's a cool shot. Shit. Did I leave the stove on? <laughs> Who among us hasn't had that train of thought? Maybe not in the middle of a villainous action sequence, but it's a human thought, I reckon. Given Deadpool every chance to join us, but he'd rather act like a child. When will he grow up and see benefits of becoming X-Men? He's a rogue. Cavalier. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> Little whack-a-mole. Whack a Deadpool. You may be wondering why the red suit. Well, that's so bad guys can't see me bleed. This guy's got the right idea. He wore the brown pants. That's genius. <laughs> Bullets, so you're gonna have to share. Let's no defecation perception. Why did he gasp like that? Someone's not counting. Six. <laughs> this movie this movie is wild. This movie is Oscar Wilde. 
Okay. He got street cred. He can cock it sideways. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is goofy. Right up Main Street. Take a left at the gooch, continue straight on Main Street. <laughs> oh, yowza, yowza. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. And yeah, technically this is a murder, but some of the best love stories start with a murder. That's exactly what this is, a love story. <laughs> Um, Tell it right. Please expound. Long before I squeeze this ass into red spandex. Uh, flashback to? That uh, is, is a no-go on the tip of Rougier. I'm not here for him. I'm here for you. Oh. Okay, wow, well, dodged a big-time bullet on that one. Not oh. out of the woods yet. You need and the plot thickens. It's not a chandelier. Hey, just look, man, can I my Sam's car? I will shoot your fucking cat. <laughs> oh. You know what that means? I don't have a cat. Then whose kitty litter did I just shit in? <laughs> Anywho. That's the question of the century. Situation. What has transpired? I got a soft spot. I'm uh, a stalker. Threats hurt, Joe. One of those, huh? So keep away from Megan. General direction again, and you will learn in the worst of ways that I have some hard spots too. That came out wrong. <laughs> yeah. I dare say it did, Mr. Wilson. You've heard the last of Jeremy. He's sorry. Think he could fuck up my stepdad? You give a guy a pavement facial, it's because he's earned it. He has a code after all. It's an unconventional one, but. Welcome to Sister Margaret's. It's like a job fair for mercenaries. Think of us as really fucked up tooth fairies, except we knock out the teeth and take the cash. We best hope we never see your name on- Now that's good writing. That's great writing. Oh, he's not a bad kid, he's just a little light stalking. I was way worse than him when I was his age. I was traveling. Just a little dollop of stalking. Could be worse. Chaos, bedlam, uproar. Yeah, he's still breathing. <laughs> Nobody wins today. Nice try. They're thoroughly disappointed. I think Booth in the Deadpool. You... And him not being unalived. Whoa, 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 baby. Are you sure you want to shoot your whole lot? Uh. Oh, you vixen. What's a nice place like you doing in a girl like this? <laughs> I did that. The, uh, the old switch em ups. Yeah. That. Say the magic words, fat Gandalf. I'm sorry. <laughs> you shall not smash. You shall not smash. Gandalf. I didn't even know sleep. It was pretty much 24 7 ball gags, brownie mix, and clown porn. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Hopefully you, later tonight. Oh. Yeah. Hey, what? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but chains and whips excite me. Now, 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 come on. What do we do with the remaining two minutes, 37 seconds? Cuddle? Cuddling, am I right? Oh. Oh, this up. All year? <laughs> All year. This looks a hair bit more Intensive than cuddling, we are getting a little sensual. <laughs> I didn't peg him for a well, you get it. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Will you, um, stick it Marry me? Uh. Will you stick it in my mouth? Where were you hiding at? Nowhere. 
<laughs> will you stick it in my will you marry me those things are fucking matching similar i love you wade wilson you're supposed to so that's a yes Woo! yes <laughs> l is for the way you look at me this had been the ultimate commercial break which meant it was time to return to our regularly scheduled program <laughs> oh my god wait Okay, this is taking a left turn, health-wise. You're not clowning. I sense clowns. People to use of late-stage cancer differently. There are certainly oh. options we can look into. New drugs are being developed every day. Malformation of sales for old Wade Wilson. Vanessa's already working on plan A, B, all the way through Z. Me? I'm memorizing the details of her face. Like it's the first time I'm seeing it. Or the last. Mr. Wilson. Wow, this is an exist existentially potent sequence. Coming! Whoa. Oh. Whoa, <laughs> this is slightly graphic. I'm about to do to you what Limp Bizkit did to music in the late 90s. Dad? Yeah. <laughs> I think we can all agree that shit just went sideways in the most colossal way. Why would he conclude that was his father? Uh, this. He did say he left before he was born, so it probably tracks, right? We both know that cancer is a shit show. Like a yak off, smearing off, open. Man, f cancer. And under no circumstances will I take you to that show. I want you to remember me. Poignant selflessness. They came in looking for you. Real Grim Reaper type. I don't know. Might further the plot. <laughs> Might further the plot. I love self-aware meta movies. But you're a fighter. Special Forces. 41 confirmed kills. One every seven weeks. I represent an organization that may be able to help. What if I told you we can cure your cancer? And what's more, give you abilities most men only dream of. I'd say that you sound like an infomercial. Not a good one, like Slap Chop, more Shake Weighty. <laughs> the world needs. ShamWow, my pillow. We will make you better than better. A superhero. Look, Agent Smith, I tried the hero business and it left a mark. But if I ever hit fuck it, I'll look you up. <laughs> oh! Within 500 yards of the school, so you may want to, you know. He's casting aspersions of the nonce variety. The worst part about cancer isn't what it does to you, but what it does to the people you love. Ah. Who knew if this guy could save my life? But I knew there was only one way that I could save hers. That's heavy consideration of other people's pain. You can understand that school of thought. I'm a teenage girl. I'd rather be anywhere than here. <laughs> I'm a The hair flip. Nice. You really gonna fuck this up for me? Trust me. That wheezing bag of dick tips has it come. <laughs> He's pure evil. <laughs> dick tips. Exclusively the tip though. Just the tip. Tip Bayless. You're better than this. Join us. Use your powers for good. That's a fierce <laughs> superhero. Just inflicting intermittent pain to this guy. Just so he knows where he stands. I'm gonna do what I came here to do. Either that, or slap the bitch out of you. Wait. <laughs> hey. Zip it, Sinead. Hey, douche fool. <laughs> You're watching. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <gasps> We've lost him. Uh -oh. All right. <laughs> I promise this gets worse for you, big boy. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Uh, Please uh, stay down. Tis but a scratch. Tis but a flesh wound. Monty Python, anybody? Yeah, it's right next to the prostate. Or is that the on switch? The <laughs> All right, made short work of Deadpool. For him not to be a comedian, Ron Reynolds has stellar comedic timing. Let's go talk to the professor. He knows the perfect cadence to hit with each piece of dialogue. You ever see 127 hours? Spoiler alert. I haven't, but... I get this plot point here, so not exactly a spoiler there, Mr. Wilson. Oh, there oh. it 
Where's the money shot, baby? <laughs> Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. The money shot. That's a happy ending no one deserves. <laughs> a, li Rock. a little farewell present. You finally hit fuck it. He says, promise you'll do right by me. So I can do right by someone else. So he has accepted this temptation. He succumbed. Succumb? Ah, succumb, final answer. Aren't you a little strong for a lady? I'm calling Wang. <laughs> I'm calling Wang. <laughs> I'm injecting you with a serum that activates any mutant genes lurking in your DNA. It's a work we need to subject you to extreme stress. This is not ideal in the least. In my case, it enhanced my reflexes. So scorch my nerve endings so I no longer feel pain. Wow. And in fact, jaded, insensitive, desensitized. You have something in your teeth. A nugget of romaine lettuce or something. <laughs> One thing that never survives this place is a sense of humor. We'll see about that. I suppose we will. I don't think you're as far-seeing as you would like to assert there, Ajax. If you're lovely, your mutant genes will activate and manifest in spectacular fashion. Savagery. Brutal. Until you finally mutate. Or die. Talk about a gauntlet of excruciating methods. Mutate or die. It's the name of my next memoir. Coming to a Barnes and Noble near you. Trying to give him Meredith Baxter Burney a Dutch oven. No. Oh. Receiving a Dutch oven for Meredith Baxter Burney. <laughs> Dutch ovens. American's favorite pastime. It's a name like Francis. Francis? Uh oh. His legal name. He got Ajax from a dish soap. <laughs> <laughs> He's been made. He's been had. Compromised. And what we're going to do is lower the oxygen concentration in the air to the exact point you feel like you're suffocating. If your brain waves slow, meaning you're about to pass out, then we'll turn up the O2. The oxygenated atmosphere. Oh, I thought you guys were dicks before. You know the funniest part? Diabolical dicks, indeed. You're never going home after this. No, there's a brave face. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Seriously? You actually have something in your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> please look again please look again say this was a love story no it's a horror movie <laughs> immeasurable agony it would appear um i like this narrative approach though i do <clears throat> oh matchbox 20 you met your match Fire away, fire away. Ricochet, take your aim. I thought about hitting the note for titanium, but I spared you. I spared you. I am titanium. Oh. <laughs> Surprise. Let's not add insult to injury here. What's my name? If he says Kunta Kente, I'm turning this movie off. Or Toby for that matter. Toby Flinderson? I belong in a fucking circus. Wait, Vanessa loves you. She doesn't care what you love. Oh. <laughs> You just scared you. Oh, you look like an avocado. I had sex with an older, more disgusting avocado. Not gently, like it was hate fucking. There was something wrong with the relationship. And that was the only catharsis that they could find without violence. That's rambunctiously ludicrous. Well, we're red. Don't ask. Captain Jack. 
the sagacious old lady, the embodiment of wisdom. <laughs> You're about to be killed by a Zamboni. You're about to be killed by a Zamboni, jabroni. If you smell. <laughs> Spider monkey. Insert Talladega Nights reference. Champ, I'm gonna come at you like a spider monkey. Like a spider monkey. Go on. It's just confusing. Is it sexist to hit you? Is it, is it more sexist to not hit you? I mean, the line is real blurry. This is what the women's suffrage movement was all about. Equal opportunity. Fist fights. Don't take my word on that, actually. Nice to see you, Jared. Why is he sitting like that? I'll take the foot bomb. Nice and regal. Fully loaded. Oh. A Jared Fogle reference. That's passe now, huh? Very passe. This is not going to end well. This is not going to end well for you, no. Where's your ball? He sees the writing on the wall. First, you might want to look away for this. Now, this little piggy went to. Oh. Thank you, Agent Smith. It's even worse than not saying it. And we all know how this turned out. Facts. We do. We do. Whoops, you weren't meant to see that. Oh, a little self-abuse. A little onanism, am I right? There, all caught up. I appreciate non-linearity. I appreciate the reflexive narrative structure, the postmodernism. Uh, I'm liking this movie so far. The old blind lady from the laundromat, Al. God, I miss cocaine. Her. Fourth wall break inside a fourth wall break. That's like 16 walls. We're bathing in meta right now. Mark Zuckerberg. Morning, sleepyhead. Uh, it smells like old lady pants in here. <laughs> yes, I'm old. I wear pants. But you're no lady. Geriatric trousers. I wonder how that strikes one's olfactory system. Uh, hashtag drive by. <laughs> Drive by is far superior than the typical crop dusting. Labeling. I may use that. Henceforth. This is not a drive by. Uh, 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 uh. I appreciate the gesture. Go on crazy. <laughs> or is your hand really small? About the size of a KFC spork. Have the hugest hands. Don't listen to the media. Books are everything. You ever heard David Beckham speak? It's like he mouth sex to can of helium. Think Ryan Reynolds got this far on his superior acting method? Love is blind, Wade. No. You're blind. So you're just gonna lie there and whimper? No, I'm gonna wait till this arm. <laughs> this movie is insane. In the meantime, you might want to leave the room. I bet it feels huge in this hand. Proportionally, yeah. I think that <laughs> that science checks. It checks out. Oh. Give it up for chastity. A Stan Lee cameo pleases me greatly. How did I not know this is Marvel? Where have I been? How do you know she's in here? Some constant stock in that box. Every time I see her, it's like the first time. Especially from this angle. <laughs> Gluteus Maximus makes it feel like the first time. Feels like the very first time. But the insecurity. You can't the fly feelings of inferiority precluded his approaching her. Rats. Someone I'm bad asking for you. By the old boyfriend. The suspense is killing me. Unlike Deadpool. It was you. The weird curvy edges. The jigsaw puzzle. We united and it feels so good. You have weight loss in today. Oh! oh. Yo! That I did not see coming. Hey, hey, where'd she go? Uh, Narratively. And the plot thickens. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
<laughs> Thanks, Dickless. <laughs> Who said that? Oh, Pope Fiction. And some dickless piece of shit fuck with it. Not often a dude ruins your face, skull stomps your sanity, grabs your future baby mama, and personally sees to four of your five shittiest moments. Let's just say it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> All right, lay out the parameters. The stakes here. What's at risk? What's the reward? The cost benefit. Welcome to the third act, baby. Uh oh. Here we go, baby. Let's ride. Broncos Nation, let's ride. Well, not anymore. Little girl on girl action of a different strain. So pity the dude who pressures her into prom sex. Oh. All right, then. Date grape. I said grape. Grandmother, if you're watching this, I said grape. Okay. This woman is formidable, to say the least. Oh! That is so sweet. The boob is out. Thanks. Memory exposure. Well, that's not ladylike. Does he write you notes too? He's such a romantic. Don't worry, baby, I'm coming. That's what she said. Hey! Teamwork does, in fact, make the dream work. I just thought of that. You heard it here first. Fucker should have worn his brown pants. <laughs> Call back. Am I right? Hey, you grow back body parts now, Wade. When I'm finished, parts will have to grow back you. Good one. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Credit is where it's due. Ah, oh, that was lit. That was magnificently lit. He caught that mug. Caught that mug? The cranium. Such skullduggery. Numbskull. All right, that's the last one. That's the last one. Yeah, take some of that. <laughs> oh. He can't help himself. He literally cannot help himself. Even stabbed in the brain. He's like, no, we're going to inject some humor. Mm. That is slightly gruesome, wouldn't you say? Like a man with a plan. I love it when the plan comes together. A team, anybody? This is a dicey situation. A dicey situation. Come here. Ooh. Oh, that's right. He can't feel the pain, but we can. Vicariously. Did you really think there was a kill for that? Oh, that's dastardly. No. No! <laughs> so, you mean to say, after all this, you can't fix me? It sounds even stupid when you say it. The kind of stupid who admits he can't do the one thing I'm keeping him alive for? Ah, Alvita's in. Sayonara. Any last words? What's my name? Who fucking cares? Wait! Four or five moments. 
Over a lifetime, there are only four or five moments that really matter. Everything else falls away. The way the world sees us. The way we... <laughs> Uh, he said to hell with your philosophizing. Sure, I may be stuck with my pepperoni flatbread, but at least fuckface won't heal from that. <laughs> he said, yeah, four or five moments, but this guy's gonna expire instantaneously. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. For everything. I'm sorry for, 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 for leaving. I'm sorry for not cowboying up sooner. I'm... I should have come and found you sooner. Yeah, they're right. But maybe the guy under this mask, he ain't the same one that, that you remember. You mean this mask? Moment of truth. And this one. <laughs> In case the other fell off. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hugh Jackman, anybody? Indeed. Wow. Yeah. After a brief adjustment period and a bunch of drinks, it's a face I'd be happy to sit on. <laughs> <laughs> this movie. Dances right up to the line of sentimentality and makes a conscious decision to say, uh-uh. Come here. I love a self-aware story structure, the formula. superhero to get the girl the right girl will bring out the hero in you now now that's a parable an allegory for the stages there we go it looks nice it's gonna be about the only thing that's pulling out tonight who doesn't love a happy ending huh rib shot this is your friendly neighborhood cool guy singing i'm never gonna dance again i dance with you Directed by Tim Miller. All right, Deadpool, that was it. 2016, very self-aware, self-referential, reflexive, postmodern film, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Now, based on how they left the movie, I would imagine if I were a betting man, Jerome Betting, the bus, uh, that there are sequels, right? We shall see upon a quick <laughs> research query. Um, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. I like the the meta narrative, the pop culture references, the lifting the the wall, the fourth wall to let the audience in on the movie making, the the structure of it, the storytelling, the narrative, the humor, the frivolity, the absurdity. I had no idea this was a Marvel movie. So why have they not utilized him going forward? I feel like they can coexist. Your Thors, your Captain Americas, your Hulks, your Deadpools of the world can coexist and harmonize. But who knows what the future may hold. Because I went to go see the Marvels and I was not a fan of that film. Now, granted, I have not seen all the TV shows after like WandaVision and season one of Loki. So that, that, that fed into the reason why I didn't quite enjoy it. I just, it just feels like homework, but that's beside the point. Anyways, this was fun. I appreciate you guys watching this with me. Ryan Reynolds is a brilliant comedic actor and an actor in general. And I like how they played on the duality of the antagonist and the protagonist of being alive, not being able to die while feeling pain and on the inverse, being able to die, but feeling no pain. So the audience is left somewhere in the middle as a spectator and trying to contemplate how that would be in, you know, a conflict scenario. And yeah, it was self-aware. Like they laid out the blueprint at the beginning. Like you kind of understand where the movie was going, but the best movies of this caliber, of this nature and form, 
shows his hand and also gives the audience what it wants and makes it pleasing every step of the way, every act turning point, every story beat, every pinch point. You know, the three act structure is kind of transparent here, but that's the joy of it. That's the fun of it. Being able to say, hey, one plus one equals two, but you're going to enjoy the showing the work of the equation, which I did. I did Deadpool 2016. So yeah, I'm glad I watched it. Free Guy was enjoyable. I was in a theater 2021. And I am glad I finally pursued this journey of Deadpooling, if you'll allow the terminology. Um, T.J. Miller is fine. Yeah, I, I, I like his work. I like T.J. Miller's work. All of his, you know, personal picadillos notwithstanding. Silicon Valley, uh, the couple of stand-up specials I've seen, you know, he has the goods. I don't think we'll see him in, <laughs> in any of the sequels if they exist for obvious reasons, or if you don't know, for not so obvious reasons. Uh, I like the pa the pacing was fun. The humor was sharp, sharp humor. And I will be interested in reading the screenplay to see if it was as funny as the cinematic rendering. I do not know. I do not know. But it's Mike, super short show. Disney Channel, 90s babies, anybody? Do y'all get that reference? I don't know. Uh, yeah, the guy... The anti-hero gets the girl, defeats the the obstacle that is represented by the villain, the antagonist, and, you know, happily ever after, as it were. Most movies will always follow this pattern, and some of them are too cheesy and too saccharine and a bit too telegraphing. Telegraphing the intent instead of showing and not telling. And this movie straddles the line between you know, what has been the formula of it and the the fresh self-knowledge and the self-aware language that it incorporates here. So I liked it. I hope you did too. I hope you enjoyed this video to some degree as much as I liked watching this movie. All my patron supporters, all of my subscribers here on YouTube, you guys are invaluable. Thank you for taking this journey of cinematic and televisual exploration with me. The words cannot express my gratitude. So with that being the case, for what it's worth, I appreciate you. And as always, till we meet again.